Hello, we're going to be rigging this character. This is the character. The topology, everything's set up a little highly, a little too much geometry, but it'll work for us. I'm going to start by building the bones. I'm always going to start with the spine, Alt W, and we're going to go to a side view. We're going to lock this character down. I'm going to hold down Alt and hit X to make him transparent. And I'm going to go over to my layers, and you can access that by clicking here. And it will pop up here in case this happens to you. you can just drag it back down to the side, dock it. And stretch it out. I'm just going to freeze this guy. And if you're in this type of layers, I like this one better. Now, I'm going to go to the side, Alt W to make this full screen. I'm going to click off of this. I'm going to go to Create Bones. I'm going to start with the pelvis. I'm going to go here. I'm going to work my way up wherever the pelvis moves here to the rib cage, to the neck. And I'm going to leave one right here next to the arms where I can attach the clavicles. I'm going to go up and I'm going to say the neck should bend right in here. And I'm going to take this one up to the head and I'm just going to right click. Now, I want to change these a little bit. So I'm going to go to animation, bone tool, edit bones. And I want the neck to bend right in here. W is move, E, rotate, R, scale. Just moving them. And I'm going to make sure that if I move two of them, I reset their stretch and scale. I'm also going to double click this to grab all of them. And because they're in the center, I like to put everything in the center as green. Just a little bit of gray in the green. I'm going to start with a dark. And I'm going to go to green. And I'm going to go to a bright. And I'm going to say apply gradient. And what this does, Alt Q, just gives it a kind of a gradient going up, makes it look a little bit better. Now I want to name these. So I'm just gonna double click all of them. And I'm going to go to Tools, Rename Objects. And I'm gonna name this one Spine, underscore, suffix, underscore, bone, bn. I'm going to hit rename, and that's going to name all of them this spine bone. Now I'm going to name this one pelvis. Lumbar. Thoracic. Cervical, this one, I'm just going to call it head or cranium. Yeah, those are good. Now I'm going to move to the legs, Alt W to go to my side view. And I'm going to go back to my bones. And it's important that you don't draw your bones straight down like this. Always want to make sure that there's a little bend to them. Because what's going to happen here is if you don't put this bend in, I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to go to animation, IK solvers, history independent solver, and then we go down to the bottom. Now I'm going to move this leg and it's bending backwards because it made a guess where it should go. But if I had a little bend, I can imagine a line going straight down like a bow. And if I go to HI solver, it will automatically follow the correct angle. And if I'm looking at these bones, they're inside the same layer as my body. And I don't want that. I'm just going to hold down shift. I'm going to select the bottom one, hold down shift and select them. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say add selection to new layer. And then if I click and click again, I'm going to call this one bones just so I can more quickly access everything. And I'm going to change this little blue thing to here, a turquoise, so that it loads anything new I make into the bones section. Now I'm going to make bones. 
And I've got the pelvis here, but if I click this, it's going to attach this bone to this. I'm just gonna scoot a little farther forwards and I'm gonna go from the knee. And I'm gonna go back a little bit, fall of the foot right about here. And I'm gonna go forwards. I'd also put a piece right here normally, but this is a simplistic rigging tutorial. I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna hit edit bones. I'm just gonna pull it back just a little bit. And I'm gonna pull this one forwards, this one back, just to make sure that that line is really obvious. Now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna go Alt W, I'm gonna go to the middle and I'm gonna turn off the bone edit mode. I'm just gonna scoot this over. Bone edit mode. And I'm gonna say a line to the spine right there. And I'm just gonna scoot it. Here, and I want one more. I'm just going to hit refine. I'm going to click on this bone. It's going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to align this one to this to make it easier for symmetry. I'm going to click this one and I'm going to pull it where I want the leg to thin, right in here. And somewhere right about here. like that, and I'm gonna double click. And I'm gonna make sure that I name this, or that I, I'm gonna change its color. And since it's the right leg, I'm going to make it red. And I'm gonna have it gradate into yellow for an orange type gradation, something like that. This button here, exit isolation. I'm going to name these. I'm going to say reset stretch, reset scale. Tools, rename objects. Yeah, I'm going to name this leg underscore R underscore EN for bone. And I'm going to hit rename. And I'm going to name this score pelvis femur tibula this is part of the metacarpals but I'm just going to call it foot and I'm going to copy this I'm gonna put it right here. And we're just gonna call this one foot tip. Now I'm gonna select all of it and I'm gonna say mirror. Hit okay. And I'm going to turn off bone edit mode. I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna make sure it's aligned exactly to the same spot in case something like this happens. In case it's here or somewhere else, if I aligned it to that point, it's easy to put back. And I almost put everything on, I always put everything on this side to be blue. Blue goes into light blue. This has nothing to do with rigging. It just makes it look more aesthetically pleasing. And I want to remove the last 10 letters here that says mirrored. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to turn off. I might keep this. I'm going to put L. And I don't need the suffix. I'm just going to say remove the last 10 digits. I'm going to double click all of them. The name doesn't have enough characters in the name. To oh, some of them have less than 10. One second. So L, nope, just maybe quicker. If you've got to do lots and lots and lots of this type of stuff, I suggest taking the time to make sure that everything is set up. 
like removing these mirrored section doesn't take very long if you're only doing a couple of bones. But later you'll wish that you had learned how to use this tool a little bit better. Or it's not learning the tool, it's about count counting how many need to be removed from here. Because remove last 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I turn this off and I hit remove, it will remove mirrored. And the same thing for this one. Just make sure that all the bones need to have a different name because it will mess with everything later. All right, let's get this out of the way. All right, now let's do the arms. And I'm going to do them from the top view. Bones. And I'm going to start at the clavicle, which is the short collarbone. We go down to the humerus, radius and ulna, carpals, metacarpals, phalanges. I'm just going to leave them right here. Get to my front view. And it's important that I leave that bend in, like I said before. Let's go over here. It's going to be on the floor. I'm just going to grab this, scoot it up here. And I'm going to make sure that it's aligned to this clavicle bone here. moving them into place. If I move them like this, I don't have to realign stretch or scale, but sometimes you need to move them more than just a little bit or by angle. I'm just going to select all of them. And I'm going to say this side is red, a little bit of gray, yellow, I'm going to rename these arm, right, bone, rename. I'm going to call this clavicle. Humerus. I'm definitely spelling these wrong. Radius, and hit control A, control C to copy it, just so I can name the tip the exact same thing, but then add tip to it. I'm just gonna double click these, and I'm going to say mirror. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that they're 100% mirrored properly because just because it looks like it is, doesn't mean it's true. Change this to blue. Let's remove those last ten. That's pretty good. And I'm going to change its name to L. Some pieces. I don't want to lose everything. Mm. I'm gonna go through this slow way because I want to keep it. Let's just move that. Lose too much. Mm. I'm just gonna go through like this. L. All right, this gives us our basic bones, but I'm going to make the controllers for this as well. Hello. In our last video, we built 
the bones for this character. And now we're going to build the controls. I'm just going to go to create splines. And I'm going to go and I'm going to start with the base controller, Alt W. I'm going to go to the top. There's lots of different ways you can do this. I'm just going to make a big arrow. I'm going to tell, press this, which is S, the snap tool. And I'm going to go to line. I'm just going to click here, click here, here, something like that. And this is going to be my root. And I don't want it to be inside bones. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to say add to new layer. And I'm going to say that this layer's name is controls. Grab this line. And I'm going to say your name is root control. I'm going to go to rendering. And I'm going to say render in viewport. So these will be invisible whenever I do render. And this is going to be, I don't want it to be this many polygons. It really doesn't matter, but I like mine to be exactly three sides. Yeah, I think that will work well. And since it's in the center, green is perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press S, or turn off my snap tool, and I'm going to go back to move. I'm going to go to circle. I'm just going to draw out a circle about this large. I'm going to call this spine control. And I'm just going to center it on the world by right clicking these little spinners. I'm just going to pull it up. I'm going to shift and drag to copy another one down. This one, I'm going to make sure that it's exactly aligned to this piece. And I'm going to make hold down R and I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to drag out another one. And this one is not spine controls. I'm going to call this one hips. Now let's go. I'm going to call this one upper body. I'm going to drag up and I'm going to give myself a control for each one of these vertebrae. Up. Shrink this down. You can change the thickness if you just do something like that. You can also rotate it so that it's flat. Snap it to here. I'm going to make sure this one is called. This is the lumbar spine. Don't want that zero, zero, 001. I'm going to make sure this sticks out of the character's body. I duplicate it up. I call this one thoracic. I'm going to duplicate it up. And I actually don't need one for the clavicle section there. I'm going to put this one in the neck. And I'm going to call it the cervical. That's going to control my neck and head. I'm going to make it smaller, something like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, I'm going to shrink it down, and I'm going to snap it to this foot, and I want it thicker, but also smaller, something like that. And this one is not the spine. It's going to be foot, foot underscore L. change it to red. Let's duplicate it over. Oh wait, this is the L. I'm on the wrong one. This one should be R. Let's 
scoot this over, align it to this, change it to blue. I'm just going to grab both of these. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to drag it up. I'm going to name this one. Tom. It's probably actually be better to be called hand. And I'm going to name it arm. And this one's the left, this one's the right. And I'm going to rotate these 45 degrees, you know, 90 degrees this way. And to do that, I'm going to click this button or A on the keyboard. I'm just going to snap these to the arm. And we're looking pretty good. I'm going to make sure that anytime I get to a step that's this big, that I put a file, save as, and I'm going to name this the name of the project, motion capture, rigging, controls, day one, part one. So if I'm looking at these in the future, I can actually look and know what they are instead of having to just guess. F4 will turn my lines off. Now what I can do is I can start adding other controls. I'm going to go through here and I've got my bones on one layer, but I'm going to select all my bones and these bones and the controls are in the same layer. That's not what I want. So I'm just going to grab these controls, everything that I labeled correctly with control. I'm going to right click. I can just drag them here. And I'm going to select all these controls. I'm going to type in control up here. This and press enter. And I'm going to do hide these and I'm going to have nothing but the bones. So I'm going to hit control A, type in bones. And I'm going to do the same thing to the body. Got to turn off, it's frozen. And I'm just going to say body. I'm going to freeze that again. Hide that. Got controls, got bones, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create IK chains. I'm just going to start here and I'm going to go to animation, IK constraints, history independent solver. And I'm going to go to the wrist I'm going to click. And this will let me move my entire bones like this, but it won't let me adjust the wrist. So what I'm going to do is this IK, I don't want this in the same list as controls. So I'm going to right click, add new layer. Click slowly, name this one IK. And I'm just going to copy the name of this. I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to paste it onto this one. And I'm just going to change bone to IK. And I'm going to link this IK with this to this controller. But that's let this controller control it. Now I want this section to when I rotate this to follow it. To look at this one. So I'm just going to select this one. I'm going to go to animation, constraints, orientation constraint. I'm going to click. It's going to jump and go crazy. I'm just going to grow, go over. I'm going to say keep initial offset. That means that when I do this, I can move this and rotate this. And while I'm here, I'm going to hold down alt and I'm going to right click, freeze transformations, say yes. It's going to load for a second. I'm going to right, alt right click, hold alt right click, freeze rotations. And what this does is it means that if I move this and I rotate it, no matter what, I can hold down alt rotations to zero, hold down alt right click transformations to zero. I can always get back to my default section. I'm going to make sure I put this little blue piece here so that everything loads into this layer. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to animation constraints. No, IK, History Independent Solver. I'm going to grab this wrist piece, its name, Control V, IK. I'm going to link the two. And then I'm going to make sure 
then I hit animate constraint, orientation constraint, click on the ring. I'm going to go keep initial offset. I'm going to test it. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to alt freeze transformations, give it a second to load, alt freeze rotations. Now I'm going to move it and rotate it. Looks like it's good. Transform to zero, hold alt, right click, rotation to zero. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to work my head back down. Grab these two rings here. And I'm going to parent them to this. Uh, no, I think I do want one more ring here, just for fun. No, I'll just bring them to the spine. Just going to grab these two, and I'm going to parent it to this. Now I'm going to grab this bone and I'm going to parent it to this one. I'm going to click and parent this one to this one. And what this will let me do is if I click this one and I move it, this will control this piece. If I right, I move this, they'll go that way. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that these two bones are parented to this one as well. Looking good. Grab this one. Parent it to here. Grab the ring. Parent this one to this one. Grab this one. And as you go, make sure that you test them. You never know when something is wrong. If you go to a side view and you rotate, does it stretch out and get strange? That's usually a sign that it's you've linked them incorrectly. Go down. Parent it to here. And now I'm going to parent this piece of the spine to this inner radius. And what this is going to let me do is if I click this one, I can bend the upper torso. You know what? I don't want to get it to there. So I'm going to take it to the outer one. Nah, I like that. And I'm going to grab these. I'm going to rig them to the upper one so that I can move the legs. You'll see why I'm separating them. I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to parent them to the base. And this will let me move the entire skeleton. I'm going to parent these pieces to the base as well. It'll make sense in a second why. I want the whole thing to move with me like this. But now I'm going to add some IK chains. I'm going to go here, animation, IK, HI, solver, click. I'm going to copy the foot. IK. And I'm going to link it. Give it a quick test. We're good. Now I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to say animation orientation constraints or constraints orientation. It's going to jump, keep initial offset. I'm going to hold alt, right click, freeze transformations. Hold alt, freeze rotations. Now I'm going to do the same thing here animation. IK. Name it the same thing as the other foot. Make sure that it's L and it's a control. I'm going to link them. And I'm going to grab this foot animation, constraints, orientation constraint. Keep initial offset. Alt, right click. Freeze rotations, alt, right click, freeze transformations. Let me give both a quick check. 
I'm just gonna grab both of them, scoot them over, give them a weird rotation. Control to select both of them, hold down Alt, and trans rotations to zero. Hold Alt, right click, transform to zero. Means that I'm doing it right. Make sure everything moves. Look good. And if I've done this correctly, I can bend this and the character's legs will follow. Now these two don't go together, so I'm gonna take this one and link them so that whenever I grab one piece, the upper body will move with it. And now that we've gotten to this section, I'm going to hold down control, shift and hit S to save as. And I'm gonna leave this as A1, and I'm gonna say, we're gonna be moving on to skinning. Uh, now let's say, controls, done, that's better. All right, in our next video, we're gonna move on to skinning this character.